the way everyone looked at me in the camp when we arrived. What have they been saying about me? They must think I'm worse than the Blight. Yeah, she's just gonna be blaming herself. I've never hurt the clan. They had no reason to be afraid of me. None of this makes any sense. Also, Isabella has leveled up. So, finally, well, not finally, more dexterity. That should unlock a bunch of new abilities, or a bunch of new weapons, because I think she was uh, right at the threshold. Uh, what do these do? Movement speed increase when stealthy. It uh, makes the stealthy lasts, l last longer. Ambush. The rogue executes an automatic critical hit if striking from stealth. This ability also combines with other talents, such as Hail of Arrows or Backstab. Now, she doesn't do the Hail of Arrows, but I will do the Ambush. Because that sounds like a good time. I think. Should... Should I configure her to always go into stealth? At any moment? I think so. Self. Stamina level. More than 25. Usability. Stealth. That's when she's surrounded by at least three enemies. Yeah, I think that's better. She doesn't have any modes. I mean, she does have one mode to be sustained. So that way, basically, she's going to be jumping from place to place doing crits. Keeper. The Vartarol is dead. Master Rannus, I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Vaterol. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dalen. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There is no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Eluvian is a trap. It cost us Tamlin. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you really are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk. Because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. I thought so as well, honestly. Is it worth restoring this mirror if it turns your clan against you? You know what it's like to lose everything, Hawk. Not just our land and freedom, but history, stories, language, magic, rituals. Even our gods are gone. It is a sacrifice, but if the mirror restores even one fragment of the past, it's worth it. What did the Keeper mean? The mirror led you to blood magic. I... The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The Keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a... spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. This is a really dangerous quest line that Meryl has. I really do hope that it is a redemption of blood magic in everybody's eyes, the quest. Because if it goes in a direction where she reneges blood magic, then it's not really going in the direction of the themes of the game. Because the first game was, as I keep saying, the first game was very much... Oh, blood magic is bad. Look at all the blood that is magic and is bad. 
But this game is the opposite. It's like, oh, everybody hates blood magic, but nothing. It doesn't do bad. It's just mostly normal. And do we get demons anyway? So it's just like, get demons with other things, not just with blood magic. In the first game, you mostly you just got demons with blood magic. That was like a recurrent thing. Hmm. I hope this helps you finish your work on the Alluvian. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. So that's that. We didn't actually get the herbalist's task. Oh, we did. Bring the heart to Solivitas in the gallows. We did get that. I didn't even I didn't even realize that. Oh, it was the heart of the 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 the, the creature. That's why we didn't get it. This mirror of yours, what does it do? Mostly it stands in my house, looking a bit spooky. But it's magic, right? So it can do magic things. Is it dangerous? It could fall on someone, but you'd have to push it really hard. It's quite heavy. Meryl, is it a danger to the people of Kirkwall or not? Oh, only to anyone sitting right under it. That's fair. Now, the herbalist... I... It has been forever since I got your quest. Brilliant. I'm amazed that you found everything. My craft can begin anew. Your reward, my young friend. I don't understand. It held an enchantment just yesterday. <laughs> I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. Okay, so the main quest now... Or not the main quest. The oh, I need to go back to uh, Meryl's house. Hawk, I could never have faced the keeper myself. I never imagined a human would help me restore Dalish history. No one ever understood. Not the keeper. Not my clan. Just you. What can I say? I'd do anything to help someone as sweet as you, Meryl. You're too good to me. I don't deserve you. You're the first real friend I've ever had. Masaranus, Lethalan. Well, yeah. It's just not enough, is it? But that is the quest complete. That means that... Oh, we need to go back home, don't I? There appears to be a small commotion at the Hawk Estate. Let's do that. So, this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had uh, more charm. You're talking about the shack I shared with my mother, uncle, and brother. I meant Lowtown. Dirty, chaotic, glorious Lowtown. The smell of tar and the sea and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley. Oh. Don't you miss that? You can get your thrills in Hightown if you know where to look. Oh. And where would that be? I can show you what I have in mind. Oh boy, this is... Why didn't I get this scene with Anders? That was... <laughs> Thank you. I should go. I wouldn't want to take advantage of your... hospitality. I don't want you wandering the streets alone at this hour. <laughs> You're sweet, but I can watch out for myself. Wait. You're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? <laughs> no. 
This was just for fun. Yeah, that she did. Good. Didn't she say that she doesn't do? Come see me at the tavern sometime. I know a cozy little nook behind the ale barrels. Yeah, she better not be lying about not doing love. Because she said some. Well, look at that. Even though our friendship is not actually that high, we got that scene. Why didn't we get that scene with Anders? Hmm. I feel cheated. I could have left the amulet in there and forgotten all about it. What would the witch have done then? Oh, we never. That was never a question. That was never a question, and it's been a while as well. Now we did all uh, examine all the things here. Let's go. What's this commotion? No enchantment. No, Leandra. Leandra. What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps. Suitor? Oh. Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. You see, Uncle. Nothing to worry about. Mother's just got a special friend. <laughs> no, this isn't like Leandra at all. If she was going to cancel our visit, she would have sent a message. Do you think I could have just missed her? I know the route she takes from your house to mine. I'll see if someone's seen her along the way. Aveline will tell the city guard to keep an eye out for Mother. Right, that's a good idea. I'm going to see if I can find her myself. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Are you really telling me? Is that is that really what you want? He's he's telling me that oh, your mother's missing. I haven't seen her all day. Wait until nightfall. Yeah, wait until nightfall. You had luck on your travels. A letter arrived for you. It's on the desk. That's where I'll put messages which come while you're out. That, that come. The, the diff there's a difference between the word which and the word that. And it, that, it's that, it's that. Uh, oh, these are for enchantments. Oh. <gasps> enchantments. Where's the table that you mentioned? Is it this thing? Yes, it is. The Fixer. I understand that you have certain experience with the disposal of inconvenient evidence. I will accept that. And uh, I found a lead on our cargo thefts and have urgent need of your expertise. Please meet me in Hightown's Market during business hours from Hubert. Well, thank you very much for telling me about that. I will indeed wait until nightfall because uh, Mother can wait. So, The Fixer, let's do that. You're the captain of the guard. You have my thanks for keeping us safe, dear girl. You're quite welcome. So accomplished at such a young age. How splendid. See, Avelyn, she thinks you're young. I actually don't know how young she is. I thought she was supposed to be like 40-somethings. Right? Is she supposed to be young? It does grind my gears a little. When video games are like that, is, uh, video games assume that you're young or your characters are young, because it's really silly for one, and also it hampers your role playing ability. In our characters' case, it really isn't possible for us not to be young because the the, the story that set it up is, um, it, it, you know. You got my letter. You've been gone a while. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this, and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine, has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering sore to divulge who is behind the theft. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. Who is this man? I would not expect you to recall every piss pot from your past. 
I don't remember Sabine. He must be from the outlying farms. Well, he brags to his fellows that he grew up with you in Lothering. Hmm. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel! Instead of beating the poor man, let's appeal to his better nature. Please, Miss Sir, help me. I knew you since you was young and loathering. I knew your mum's family and your pop. Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. <laughs> I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. Thank you, Monsieur. Our slothering folks should stick together. Well, I'll, also, he's a piece of shit, so, you know, I just don't, I haven't have been given the choice to stab him in the eye. What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in Lothering. Clean home, fertile land, friends, and cook while we lived in a hovel. People spit on us, and some days we went hungry. I know it was hard to leave Lothering. Talk to me, so we can put all this behind us. As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. I'll sweeten the pot, or I'll help you. I don't understand... Hmm. I think this one is better. I'll make sure your family is taken care of. I'm humbled by that offer. Thank you. I hid some gold in the bone pit. I'll mark it on your map. I'll regret stealing from someone like you, so please, take it back. Hawk, this is Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug, are you ready to bark now? There's an ambush. Planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment, but make sure you have the Coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. A public showing of mercy will be good for morale. Let him go. But he's a Pharrell. A criminal. Nobody will care what happens to him. Think about it. Sabine turned to crime for two reasons. He's desperate, and he bears no love for you. Spare him publicly, and you'll earn some loyalty from the miners. I see your point. Very well. For the sake of morale, I will spare this dog. Oh, thank you, Miss Ayers. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. You know I don't deserve it. We're too late for your boys, but we'll make the rotters pay. Yeah, there's a very distinct difference between robbery and armed robbery. Or rather, you know, no, otherwise non-armed robbery. Could we not... Oh my god. Uh, I thought that I saw a bug. Uh, but no. Um, could we not uh, depose the guy, the leader or the owner of the mine? Because that would be nice. He definitely doesn't deserve it. So, yeah, armed robbery, as I was saying. So death for everyone. Self-defense them in the face with my lightning and other things. Uh, you're going to be good over there. You are going to be good over here. We're taking quite a lot of damage. Uh, you didn't get frozen. No, nope, you got frozen then. And screams abound as per usual. Uh, let's see what I can do here. So I want you not there. That would be a good idea. And then a party heal, please. 
Good. And then this. Good. And then fall back, fall back, fall back. Yep, that's good news. And then do this. Hmm. Okay, this is going. This is going. Some things aren't going as well, but we're not going to talk about them. You are pathetic, uh, Isabella. Get out of there. Uh, I don't think that's going to help her, though. Let's see. I can go into stealth. And I can go into sneak attack. And that's immediately a crit. And then this. And that is a kill. Perfect. Murder. Murder. Works. <laughs> that was almost too easy. Wait. I recognize that lout. Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. So your organization is behind this? We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this, the rest of his life will be very short and painful. Tell me about this man. He operates out of the south side. Always had more balls than sense. His luckies are loyal. Brecker must be involved. We have to stop these attacks once and for all. Oh, we will. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. Mm-hmm. So, corpse. Persuasion. And shortbow. Persuasion is a two-handed weapon that we don't use. Apparently we're looting our own shipments here. And chiseled totem. Let's go. To Darktown. Oh no. Don't let them get away. You Coterie, one of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. Someone in your organization has been killing my men. Explain that. Can't say I didn't give you a chance. I mean, <laughs> I don't need one. Uh, oh, she's just over here. Okay, that's good news. Okay, now I will make sure that Isabella pays as much close attention to you as possible. And you're almost... Oh, no, you're dead. Like, oh my god, you're not even good. You're not even good. What a pathetic display. Terrible. Absolutely atrocious. Okay, some more fireballs up in there. Mm-hmm. Now that guy gets a lightning and another lightning. And I'm out of mana. No, you have nothing. No, you actually do have a little. Are you... Are, are, do you think they're tiring? I'm tiring. She didn't say it. Nice. Okay. Superior Mall. Is that all? Wait. What does the game expect me to do with this? Uh, follow the quest marker is what it expects me to do. It is a side quest, after all. Turn up your purses, Kurtwall. The leases of Javaris Tintop are up for grabs. Trap ahead. There is a trap. Are you happy now? I am a little bit happy. Hey, what's up? Just uh, looting the place. Rune of Spirit. Oh, you're attacking her. Yeah, bad news. Oh, that is not how you attack a person. I mean, it is, but not in this context. You must be Brecker. And you're that lice-covered refugee. You'd better leave the bone pit shipments alone. Understand? 
You're making demands of me. You own half a stake in a mine and you think you're somebody, huh? Some Ferelden's don't have the courtesy of knowing when to bloody die. Oh, it's we die every once in a while. It's just that. Oh, they're still going after Isabella. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oof. That is that was not good for you. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let her do her thing because there's invisible people here, and that is something I cannot abide by. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, let's do this. And do this. No, you don't run away. You heal yourself. And attack that guy might as well. Uh, you're... Mm. Yep, that is... Uh, that's what happens. Explosions. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit of this. I don't think it froze you. Wow, this was such an easy battle. Okay, there's more of them. But still. We do. We do indeed. They barely move. They go invisible and then they proceed to stand still for a while. Why is that? I think there's another invisible somewhere. I think I heard it. No, it's Isabella. She's the one that goes invisible. Okay. Party heal. I, think, I don't think the party heal heals as much. Oh, there's another invisible here. Heals as much as uh, the individual heal, which would make sense. That was a lot of damage to me. Because even though I stunned him, he got past the stun. Or resisted it or something. Perfect. And uh, what do I need to do now? Return to Hubert. Mm, well, that does... I, I was going to return to Hubert before. Uh, we got some more boots over here that nobody can use. And uh, an etch staff that is a huge improvement for you. Uh, and she can definitely use that. Oh my god, it is so so much better. Do you want the Vaseline? Is it better? No, Vaseline is not better. Okay, good. Let's see what the sack has. Nothing. Let's go back to Hubert. 